what's up YouTubers? It's your boy Garrick, one of your favorite barbers. Hey look, I'm working in the shop late tonight. I'm doing it for y'all because I've been reading a lot of y'all comments and a lot of you want me to cut a low fade. Before I do that, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hey look, I got my man Greg coming through today. He's going to get a low fade. Come rock with me. Let's learn together. I'll see y'all on the other side. Ow! So I'm going to uh, cut a, a low fade on my man Greg right here. Um, I like to start off, we're going to do the low fade. So we want to start off with uh, the ball line. With the low fade, everybody's different. I'm going to just show y'all my technique. Um, you can take some things from this, some things you might use, some things you might not use. But this is a technique that I found that was good for me and hopefully it's good for you. So we're doing a low fade. I'm gonna start off right by that ear. I'm gonna come around. And I like to do my low fades, um, you know, where I start off right here on the ear, I get that line. And as you can see, I'm still letting this, I'm keeping this here. Like I said, everybody has a different technique. Uh, this is my technique and hopefully it, it works for you. But I know the most important thing when you start off the fade is you definitely have to ball it first. And we're gonna ball this thing a lot. We're gonna go around. Still keeping it low. Spin them around. Stand low, just get your blade, get your, your clipper, whatever region you in. You call it clipper blades. And we got our guard all the way, we got the lever all the way up. And this is just step number one, just creating that line. The second step, what I want to do is, uh, now that I got his line out, is uh, he wants a little bit off the top. I'm going to keep the top pretty long so we can keep his curls in. After I do the first line, after I do the ball part, I like to uh, take some off the top. So now I'm putting the one A on there. There we go, that, the one A is where it is. So we're gonna do a one A on top. Like I said, I still wanna keep his curls up. Put my guard on, and I'm going with the direction of the hair. I'm gonna go with the direction of the hair because it takes less off. If I went against the grain, it'll take more off. But what I'm doing right now is giving it enough room for Greg because I want his hair to stay curly. Uh, he, I know he's going out tonight, so I want him to look the best that he's going to look. And uh, as a barber, you also become like a stylist and everything. So I'm going to cut his hair enough where you can still see some curves. So we'll take that top down a little bit. Just working around, we're going with the grain, with the grain. Going all the way around, you can see, same motions. So now the next step is to start to do the fade. This is where I'm a little different. Um, you see Greg, I got his line. I like to start personally from this area right here. I like to work here, and then I go this way with it. So I'm gonna create that second line. Right here, I got my guard, I got my lever all the way down. So I'm starting from like the back. And I'm flicking, I'm creating that line. And I'm still, because I'm doing a low fade on him, I'm still, I, I'm not gonna go behind this ear just yet. I go from here, and then I move like on this temple part. And I'm not touching the hair behind the ear yet. It's gonna be a low fade. I got this area and I'm working here. I'm not touching this area just yet. You'll see, I'll touch it later on. You'll see it. I'm moving around, I'm doing the same thing. Doing the same, I'm going all the way around. And I'm still, I'm not touching behind this ear yet. I'll get to that a little bit later. Now I go in this temple part. I hit that temple area just to create that first line. When 
you're cutting hair, you're going to see a lot of it is line work before you get to the face. The, the line work is what's important, and then you'll start to fade. The line work basically set everything up for you to fade it. Now I put the um, number one guard, Andy's magnetic guard. I put that on, and I'm gonna go ahead and flick out to cut that second line, just just to add more room to the fade. Brings it up a little bit more. Now I'm going to go behind the ear. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to keep it still low. My next phase is to get this bulk right here. So I want to put a bigger guard on and I'm going to keep it like about this area right here. This is the area that I got to play with. I'm going to use a Speedo guide, the OA guide, and I'm going to flip, flip this area out. Look. Bam. Just going to blend that area. I'm going to flip that wrist in this part. Now what I want to do is I can see the blade coming and I'm going against the grain, that's what I'm going against the grain. Now I want to go with the grain just to make it look a little bit more smooth. I'm going to adjust my guard, move it all the way up. I'm going to go with the grain just to smooth it out some. See how we smooth, we smooth it out and it's still, we're still maintaining the darkness right here. Still maintaining the darkness. Put the, put the guard all the way up. We move the lever all the way up, I'm sorry. But we're still maintaining that darkness. Now let's go against the grain. We're gonna put that lever all the way up. Now we'll work it down. A lot of this lever work, you'll find you'll work your levers up and down. A lot of this repetition, still doing the same steps, bam. Now I want to put a bigger guard on there because I want to, I see a, a line right here. If you got the barber eyes, there's a line right here. Putting the lever all the way up. Let's flick. Woo, look at that. Mm, that's magic. See how we just flicking that line out. And I promise you, the most important thing when you're cutting hair is just repetition and just keep practicing. You'll find your technique. Now I'm going to the one guard and I see, I see my room. So now what I'm thinking about is I'm going to start fading from here up to here. So I put my one speedo guide on there. I'm going to go ahead and flip that thing out. I got my lever all the way down right now. So if I want to get more hair, let's put this lever all the way up. Let's do this part. Let's get this. And see how it's just coming together. The fade is just it's just blending itself. Now this, I'm about to show y'all something. This is gonna be real pretty. I'm gonna take my guard off. I'm gonna move my lever all the way down and I'm gonna get this bulk right here. Look at that. Uh -huh. You see how that, that blend is just levers all the way down. I'm getting this blend right here. Bam. And this look, it's just fading like magic. Not Magic Johnson, not number 32, Magic Dixon. So then I'm gonna move my guard all the way up. I see a slight line right here. I'm, I'm sorry, move my lever all the way up. I see a slight line. So I'm just gonna tap that line. Bam. This blend area right here, I wanna do it all the way over here. And I'm just going slow. Bam. See how I'm working my way to the front. Same steps, taking that lever off, working my way to the front, bam. Put that number one guard on there. Gonna remove that ear down. Still keeping it low because I got this whole room right here. Still keeping that fade low. Bam, and we just, we just going up. Look, we just flicking out. Getting this area. I'm adjusting right now, I'm adjusting my lever. I'm going up and down with my lever. And I see this area right here. This is where that magic comes in, which y'all saw earlier of getting that line out. Once I take this line out, that fade is just gonna, got my blade lever all the way down. Bam. And that hair is just coming off smooth. See, I'm still staying low. Remember how I started off? I started off with the ball line from here to here. Now I'm working like behind that ear. Still maintaining that lowness of the fade. Now I look at this and I say, I need to get this bulk right here. So I grab a bigger guard, grabbing my Speedo guy, 
the old, old speedo guy, my lever's all the way up. And I'm gonna go ahead and flick. Just so it starts to blend, I'm moving it down now. I'm starting to blend that part right there. Now I wanna get this line out. I see a line right there, y'all may be able to see it. Hopefully you see it, that means you have the barber eyes. Getting that line out, and I'm gonna get that line out just slightly so I still have the low fade on it. I'm using my speedo guide all the way, levers all the way up. I'm just flicking that line out. See, ugh. Low fades, you want it to be about an inch above the ear, but you'll blend. And you see it's the same motion, it's a lot of repetition. A lot of repetition, I'm just hitting that hair to make sure. If I want to, I go the other direction, I go with the grain, just to lay it down a little more. You're going with the grain, you're just laying it down a little more. Man, I, I feel it, man. This, I feel 25 numbers from this dude tonight. He's gonna go out, I feel 25 numbers. That's in my heart. I put a different guard in there, I put an OA, a little smaller, just getting more bulk, just moving my lever, bam. Just getting a little more bulk, bam. Now, I like this side. I'm, I'm satisfied with this side. So we're just gonna move, hold on. I see something right here. So I'm gonna get a smaller guard, and I'm just gonna flick out and get that part. Move this lever all the way up, just using my corners. Bam. Okay, so I see a little bolts right behind this ear, so I'm just, bam. See, we still maintaining the low fade. Now let's work our way down to the other side. So I, I created my second line, so now I'm flicking out, going for the third line. I'm not pressing this hair too hard. I'm, I'm kind of actually pressing a little bit light right now. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to get this bulk out right here. Just giving you some of that knowledge. I wish they had these videos around when I was cutting hair because I come from an era when I had to cut everything with one clipper. One clipper, my clipper got hot, I had to put it in the refrigerator. It was no cool lube. I didn't know anything about that. I started off in my parents' basement. I would tell the guys to hold up, like, then I put my clippers in the refrigerator, right in the freezer for like about three minutes. Then I go back and cut their hair. So now I'm just, I'm steady, I'm just getting the bulk out. I'm keeping my lever all the way down. I want to get a little more, so I'm going to adjust my lever up. Just to get a little more. Now I'm adjusting down. See, the lever work, like I said, you'll, you'll go up, down. You just kind of fill it out. But the main thing, man, don't be afraid to cut the hair, man. It's only hair. We got this part of hair. It's, it's blended. My favorite part is getting that line out just so the fade will come smooth. So I'm going to adjust that lever all the way down. Bam. We're just going up with it. That line of fade is just coming. Put my guard on there, put my speedo guy, old speedo guy adjusting it all the way down. Man, I, like, I want my clients to get as many women as they can. If they marry, I want them to stay married, you know. I don't want them to cheat or anything. I, I, don't, I ain't telling y'all to cheat. Now that low fake is looking nice, so I want to get this bulk right here. So I'm going to put a bigger guard on. I'm going to go with uh, the 1A. I'm sorry, I didn't use the 1A, I'm gonna use the one. Take it down and get that bulk. Man, we're getting that bulk out. Creating a nice fade. And while you're cutting, you may say, you know what? I saw some bulk on that side. I got it out. Hey man, just, it's simple. Just spin that chair. And I'm looking and I'm saying, hey, you know what? I see it. it's a little dark right here. So let me go, let me just go hit that. I like the fade, it's looking good. So my next step is to line them up. The beauty of the lineup is the lineup also allows you to see if you made any mistakes on the head. I'm lining up the back, so just want to hit that. 
I gotta go around the ear. So you pull that ear down, and you work your way right around this ear. And you're just working your magic. You're just cleaning it up, making it nice and clean. So when he walks by the girls in the club, they're like, ooh, girl, look at his neckline. Ooh. See, women, they like to check out everything. You know, some women know about the haircut game more than men. Girl, he had a nice day. His shape up was nice and everything was perfect, girl. I like that. Comb his hair down, and I see right here I need to get some of that bulk out. So I'm gonna put my OA on there. I'm gonna go with the grain, against the grain, I'm sorry. And we still maintaining the low fade. Still maintaining that low fade. I just got that, see now that line. And now it's gone. When I'm shaping them up, I obviously got to comb it out. I like to start from the bottom and come up. Remember the most important part? I say it on all the videos, say it with me. Stretch that skin. You're gonna stretch that skin. You see how that hair, that's when you, you know you got some nice shape up with this. See how it's hitting with one stroke. As we stretch that skin now, we're going back, we just follow, we're maintaining our same line. Comb it out, comb it out so any hair that you see that's sticking over and we're gonna clean it up with the razor. We're not pushing his hairline back, we, we stand with the, his, his natural line and we're making it look good. Let me just go back. You know what I mean? We just gonna fade this in a little more right here, this and this right here. I see that. You're gonna catch some of these things while you're cutting hair. You'll catch them. The most important part is that you catch it before you give it to the client and they look in the mirror. So I caught myself right here, so look, I'm just gonna put that guard in. I'm just gonna tap that thing and fade it on out. Be careful, always watch out for the eyebrows. Sometimes, when I, early on in my cutting career, sometimes I would accidentally cut my client's eyebrows. So when you come across, you see I don't, I don't wanna cut his eyebrows, so I'm stretching that down, I'm covering that eyebrow. I'm watching that. I just want to get all the loose hair, so I'm going to use my clipper. I got it all the way up, and I'm just hit the loose ends. Just clean it up, just hit those loose ends. This, this is called freehand technique. Right now, I'm just freehanding it. That's all I'm doing, just getting those loose ends. All right, so now we're going to comb it down. We're going to shake that front up. Staying with his natural hairline and I'm cleaning that out. And we go over with this natural hairline, combing it down. Now, when I shake it up, I see something. I see a little line right here. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just go ahead and get it out. Put a guard in. Just that easy. Damn, got that line out. I'm hitting with the Sam Lamer hairline beard sharpener, hairline and beard sharpener. Spray it. Hit that razor. Stretch that skin, that's important. Stretching that skin. Stretch that skin. Bam, get that line nice and crisp. See that, that razor line is giving them a few more days. It's at, the razor line is, is good. It adds about uh, an extra day or two to your clients. I'm just maintaining, just going over to the other side. We're still going. Mm. Stretching that skin, that's important. Following, we just following the same line that we created with the clippers.
I got my mag rag nice and tight, but I'm not going to stop there. I want to add a little something to it. I'm going to give them this curl sponge pe treatment. I like to wet it up. Not everybody does it. Some people just put gel in it first, but I like to wet it up. We will grab some of my favorite gel, which I like to use. I like the Elegance Wax, the Elegance Hair Wax. Nice, bam. Want to add a little bit more. Hit it with some of that Elegance Hair Wax gel. Ugh. Get your curl sponge, whichever kind of curl sponge you got. You can go to Amazon. They got the uh, curl sponges on Amazon. Uh, just look up curl sponge. They got plenty of them. That boy looking nice. Add your little touches to it. Hit them off with some of that spray, Proline spray, which is real good. Ugh. Now he ready to go. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, thanks for watching. I just hit off red with that low fade. Hey, you can do it too. Now you know the steps. Let me know what haircuts y'all want me to do for y'all. I'll do it for you. Whatever you want me to do, I got you. Hit that subscribe button. If you need that barber gear, I got it. Money makers, hats, shirts, towels, barber capes, whatever you need, I got you. But hit that subscribe button. I'll holler at y'all later.